Hey guys, it's your girl Tay, and I'm sure a lot of you are wondering what to even expect at auditions. So listen up. They'll take place over a period of two to three days in which you'll learn several across the floor combinations that will give you an opportunity to showcase your dance technique, your performance abilities, and ultimately your personality. From here, you'll learn a short routine which you'll perform for the judges and that's pretty much it. So I hope that leaves you a little bit more confident going into auditions and know that you will do great. I'm rooting for you. What would I look for in a potential stingette? I would be looking for somebody who's well-versed in dance, somebody who is kind, somebody who um, picks up on choreography relatively quickly, somebody who has the character traits that will sustain them on the collegiate level. The most important thing is that you're teachable and you're enthusiastic about dance and it shows. Hi, I'm Natasha Johnson, former Stingette from 2007 to 2009. For the question of is there a height, weight, or specific body type required in order to become a Stingette, the answer is no, there is not. Over the years, you'll notice that there's been a variety of height, weight, and body sizes for the different Stingettes. I'm 5'10", I was 5'10 when I was a Stingette, and we were not required to be a certain height or weight in order to perform. Now, we do go through intensive workouts and conditioning from the time we make the squad throughout the entire season, actually, to help prepare us um, to ensure that we are in the best physical shape that we can be. Hello, my name is Jacquees McNeil. The question I have for you is, should I stand in the front or the back during audition camp? You should stand where you feel the most comfortable. Remember ladies, it's a competition. Hi everyone, this is Lashne. So the question that I have was, I don't have any majorette training, would this set me back? Um, I wouldn't say that you need major ed training, but I think it's great for you to have all around versatile dance experience or dance training. So you wanna have training in your basic ballet, jazz, hip hop, even contemporary, all these genres of dance play into how well you audition to be a stinga or any HBCU style dance team. Um, it's really about how fluid you are in these styles of dance, how great you can blend in with um, those girls that are returning to their teams and how great you are performing on and off the field and or in the stands. So the more training you have, the better. Hi ladies, I am Lauren Brown. And the question you had for us was, what can I do right now to get ready for audition camp? Right now, you want to make sure you are building your stamina and your endurance. This is going to be so important, especially for field shows and in the stands. You want to make sure you are in the best physical shape possible, getting in your weekly workouts and making sure that you are eating clean, super important. Also, you want to dedicate some time to dance on a daily basis. So whether that's an hour or two per day, you know, really take that time. And lastly, make sure that you are really honing in and focusing on those areas you feel like you need to improve upon. So your jumps, your kicks, your leaps, your turns, splits, all of those are going to be expected of you. So make sure you really focus on those right now. And um, all in all, we wish you the very best. We are excited for you, and we can't wait to see what you've got. Should I arrive hair and makeup ready? First impressions are everything, so you should most definitely arrive hair and makeup ready. Hey everyone, it's Ashley Harris, and I'm here to let you know if you're currently struggling with technique, here are some tips that can help you improve that. Number one, go ahead and invest in yourself. 
Take classes such as ballet, jazz, hip hop, and more. Next, go ahead and schedule sessions with someone who has knowledge of these dance styles. That's always helpful. And lastly, I can't stress it enough, stretch. Take advantage of stretching. Flexibility improves physical performance. Um, it reduces risk of injuries and muscle soreness, and it increases your range of motion. So in conclusion, if you would like to improve your technique overall, just doing these three things plus more can help you tremendously. So go ahead and get started. All right, bye. Hey guys, a lot of you wanted to know if we could create dance or workout videos um, to give you something to practice to until um, audition time. We actually have something very special in the works right now um, that will hopefully help everybody that's interested in auditioning have a great audition process and really go in the door feeling very confident. Uh, so stay tuned, more to come on that.